Hi, this is Emil Christensen, and uh, this is how to set up your ABIC streamer. We're going to talk about positioning. We are going to talk about uh, how to set up the cables, and we're going to talk about which applications to use. So for positioning, it's uh, really important to uh, put the streamer on a shelf instead of just put it down on the ground. So putting it on a shelf or on a rack is probably how to, to get the best of the performance out of it. And it's also very important to put uh, darks underneath the streamer. Uh, so you basically put them right underneath the AVIX uh, feet to give the streamer the best possible performance that it, that it can get. So for cabling, we're going to need three different cables. We're going to need a power cord. We're going to need an ethernet cable. And we're going to need a digital cable as well. So we basically start out by connecting our power cord to the streamer. We take our ethernet cable. We plug it in right beside it. And then we end up using our digital cable as well. Instead of using the digital cable, you can use the analog cables as well to use the deck within the streamer. So now we're basically ready to go. So after connecting all your cables uh, behind the streamer, now we're ready to turn on the streamer. And if you have, if you got an iPad at home, you can uh, download the ABIC uh, app from the App Store. Otherwise, any other mobile devices, uh, you can download any UPnP-based uh, streaming uh, applications. And through that, you can use either Spotify, Tidal, Cubus, and even Rune. So, to summarize, uh, this is how to set up the AVIC streamer. Um, we have been talking about positioning and we have been talking about how to probably uh, use your cables. And we also been talking about the applications you can use the streamer. And remember, if you have an iPad, you can always download the AVIC app. So um, thanks for watching.